What's up, Nail Geeks, and welcome to another Vapid Lacquer video. I'm super pleased to show you this one. Um, it's a short and sweet one. We only have a trio, and this is the last little bit of maker Chris, uh, her uh, Halloween inspiration. If you don't know, she is a huge Halloween fan, and I'm here for it. And I think she's just come in and she's icing the cake. That is her creations for this Halloween season. And this trio, you don't want to miss out on. So without further ado, let's check them out. First up is Cryptid. This is described as a deep teal green base housing an ultra chrome shifting flake in purple to blue to cyan. It's also got a gold to green magnetic effect that is very strong and has a strong metallic feel. So this is really, really lush. If you typically shy away from magnetic polishes, I'm going to strongly push you to say, go against the grain with yourself and get this one. It is so gorgeous, whether you wear it unmagnetized, which as you can see, two coats is all you need if you're going to wear it this way or magnetized, to be honest, it applies so incredibly opaque. It's lush and it's just beautiful. When you apply that magnet to your nail, it's going to pop so ridiculously well. The pigment is heavy, so it's very obvious, but it easily magnetized. No issues with waiting for quite some time. It was just ready to be reactive. I think two coats is perfect. Now it does dry down quite flat because this is more of a heavy chrome like feel. So I would suggest a thicker glossy top coat. And next up, we've got I'm Haunted. This is a Concord purple base with a striking shimmer that's shifty in cyan to blue to magenta to gold. It also has an ultra chrome flake added to it that shifts red copper to gold. She does state in the PR information that the uh, pigment, the shimmer that's in this one is part of her rare find NPX series. So I'm thinking it's a really rare type of shimmer. I remember seeing it years ago in the Facebook group and um, it is ringing a bell, but um, I do believe that this is one of those uh, smaller type of batches that she's going to do because she is keeping this pigment. So I do agree with the official description. This is absolutely a Concord purple. I can't think of a better way to describe it. It builds at three coats. I think if you have natural nails and you want that lesser sort of deeper appearance, I think two coats is perfect, but Personally, I like that thicker, plumpier sort of gel like look when I'm finishing my nails. So I thought that third coat was perfect and it really amplified that base color. And lastly, we have this beautiful thing. This is Bloodsucker and is described as a jewel toned, squishy red base with a shifting micro flake in black to red. She says it's stunning in all lights and it shows a blackened blood like tone to a hellfire red. And then it twitches over to copper to gold at more extreme angles. I agree with that. This is a red to end all reds. It's very vampy. It's beautiful. And in shaded lighting, it takes on this glowy, glowy red. In indoor lights, normal lighting situations, you're going to see this almost ox blood, sort of blood red. It's again, very vampy, but that shimmer just lights up at shaded lights and at angles. This does dry down flat. So I would suggest going in with two coats and a glossy top coat. And lastly, we have the Willet Topper segment. This is where I demonstrate with a black swatch stick to show how polishes appear over black so that you may or may not have more versatility with how you wear them. Cryptid look ridiculous. I mean, I think Cryptid looks ridiculous no matter how you wear it. It's just so in your face and lovely. The blue definitely takes a bit of a backseat because of that black base. So I would just be cautious with darker colors if you choose to layer it. That way we can keep that wonderful contrast between the blue and that green. I am haunted. Just dispersed those lovely little glass like flecks all over the nail. And it does top her really well, but we got zero purple. So I would probably stick with the matching base. Bloodsucker just vamped out even more at angles in person. This red shift to it just took on more of a stronger appearance. It was very nice, but we definitely took away from that strong blood red appearance. And finally, we've got the family shot here. I'm giving you guys a bit of a wiggle. So these are limited edition, of course, per usual with Vapid. She is um, doing uh, small batches when she does her releases now. And this is the second to last uh, release for this year for her. So we've got the Halloween trio and then we've got another one coming up. And then 
then it's gonna be the holidays. It's bananas how quickly it's gone. So for this launch, uh, it is going to drop starting September 30th at 2 p.m. Central Time on Vapid's website. This is also gonna include a full Bath & Body restock. I'm always raving about her goodies and you don't wanna miss out. If you have not checked out her website or if you're just on the fence or whatever, you're watching this and you're not really into nails, well, she's got Bath & Body goodies. If you have not seen her shower bombs, it is worth it to go take a peek, at least for that. Those are so stinking cute. We also have uh, nail elixirs, cuticle oils, her nail, uh, that's her cuticle oil. And uh, we've also got lotions, all that good stuff. And she did state, I'm reading the PR email right now. She did state that we are going to see a return of the super fan favorite Halloween scents in Let Summon Demons, which is a really earthy, delightful unisex smell in my opinion. Uh, Jacomello, which is one of my favorites. It's like a pumpkin sweet marshmallow ooey gooey goodness. I've been buying that scent from her for a long, long time. Um, but those two are wonderful and you definitely want to smell them if you haven't checked out her brand before. So I'll have all this information in the description box below, including her website and the Facebook group if you wanna see her official launch information this week, which includes the returning scents. If I get this video up and she's already posted, I'm gonna have a little sneak peek behind me and probably another fangirling squealing moment at some of the returning scents in addition to these two that's coming back. So I digress. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.